Here in this code sample, we have the definition for the class person and we have the definition for the class student and student extends person. Here we have the definition for init, kind of a constructor. And here you can see that within the definition for init in student, I invoke init that was defined in person. So that each init is responsible for initializing the relevant variables for the class uh, within it was to which it, it belongs. So this init is responsible for initializing ID and name, and this one is responsible for initializing average. Here you can also see that I use the super function in order to invoke details, the version that I override over here. Now if I execute this code sample, as you can see, I get the expected output. Here an object is instantiated from student and these three values are assigned to uh, the three variables the new object uh, has. And here I invoke the function details on that object and when I do it, I indirectly also invoke these details. The same as indirectly uh, this init was invoked when I invoke this one this one over here.